back to my channel or if you're new here hello welcome um, my name is Megan and today we're going to do my April 2020 monthly budget review um, it's just like a walkthrough um, showing you guys how I did last month and all my results to my budgets and stuff so first off what we have here is my monthly view this is my income and my bills um, this is just an awesome way to see what's going on with your budget um, and an uh, easy way to plan everything. Also, sorry about the lighting, it is overcast today and the sun keeps popping in and out. So if you see weird things on my paper, that is why. Um, so moving on, uh, if I pay a bill, I scratch it out. And if there's any modifications to any of my bills, I will just write them right beside so I know next month what to change. Moving on, um, oh by the way, this sheet is from printacalendar.com. It's super easy just to print them off there. Moving on to these sheets, all the Budget Queen sheets are from my Etsy shop. It's called Budget Queen Shop, so go check it out if you're interested in very cheap PDF printables um, of budget sheets. So these are my daily spending trackers. Um, I just section it off uh, week to week so that it is easier to do my weekly um, my weekly spending tracker. So this is the daily one. You can see all of um, my expenses here. I have date, category, description, plus or minus, and then ending balance. Um, and then I have a second sheet here for week four. I always end with a zero balance, so um, it's telling your money where to go. Um, this is my weekly spending tracker. At the very top, I have my monthly budget, just so you're able to see week by week how you're doing. Um, for the first week, I spent 232. Second week, I spent 435. Third week, I spent 396. And fourth week, I spent 407. So relatively um, good spending here. The week one was when my husband first got off of work, so we were trying to spend as little money as possible. Um, but overall, we just went over by $82.82 um, because of a couple of expenses that I'll show you guys coming up here. But overall, we um, did very good on groceries. Um, that might be a high budget for you for groceries, but for us, that is practical. So we, um, yeah, for the first time in a long time, have stayed under budget for groceries. Gas, we did really good. Um, eating out, we ate out once and then got a Tim Hortons ice cap twice. Um, spending for my husband went really well. Kids, we were under budget, surprisingly, and household, we were under. Um, we were over by other because um, an expense came out on my husband's iTunes account, which we don't know why it came out and we don't know what it is. So hopefully we'll be getting that back. And then my Monat subscription, it's like a shampoo and conditioner, or, um, not a subscription, but it's like a membership type of style. Well, I forgot to cancel it and the payment came went through. Um, so I canceled it over the phone and I should be getting that money back soon. Um, I actually have got that money back. Actually, I forgot about that. So um, I just put the um, refund in as income in my May budget. Um, that's how you do it, by the way. And then um, I spent $126.99 on a maternity gift uh, for my best friend, just so you know. So moving on to bi-weekly budget number one. Um, my husband made a little bit more than expected. Anything over $1,500, I put straight to savings. So I put $176.76 into savings, um, which is reflected here, but we did, uh, were able to save a little bit more. Bills are relatively the same. Expenses, uh, we were under by a little bit. Easter, we only spent around $40 when I budgeted $100. So we were able to save almost $400, which was amazing. Um, moving on to bi-weekly budget number two. Um, again, my husband made a little bit more than expected, so I put $295.99 right to savings as soon as he got that paycheck in the account. Um, bills are relatively the same. Um, again, the expenses were a little high because of those expenses that we unexpectedly had. Um, savings were 532 59 
and um, that was just from this bi-weekly budget and then our savings hit three thousand dollars which I wanted to um, save so anything over the three thousand I was going to put to the debt snowball um, we feel comfortable with three thousand so um, moving forward if we feel comfortable we're going to make debt snowball payments so uh, we were able to make a payment of eighty four fifty five, which was awesome. Um, I'm so excited that we were able to um, save all that money. Um, it's awesome in a time like this. Uh, we have actually never been able to save that much, so I'm very proud of us right now. So again, my husband made about almost $500 more than expected, which was awesome because he's been off for... Um, most of April um, he uh, worked the first week and then the last three weeks he's been off but we got government funding so that was um, a lifesaver there um, if you're wondering what CTB means that's child tax benefit I live in British Columbia Canada so I get a child tax benefit check for um, each child that I have and I have two children just so you know and I'm on maternity leave, just so you know, so I get um, maternity leave pay, so that is 586 every two weeks. Um, bills, again, relatively the same. Uh, expenses, we were just a little bit over um, by around $80. Debt, I just made the minimum payments, and then of course we have our debt snowball here, $84.55, Easter, um, almost $40, and then savings, we saved $930.30. So I am so happy with our um, ability to save this month um, during this time of crisis, if you would say, and my husband being off. I'm very grateful that we were able to save that money um, so quickly. So um, as you can see, I did the percentages here and we do have a zero based budget. So my bills were 42% of my monthly income. Just so you know how to do this, you take the um, amount here, so $2,270.97, you divide it by um, $5,397.95, and that's how you get the percentage. So 42 of our income goes to bills, 27 went to expenses, 11 went to debt, and 19 went to other, which is mainly debt snowball and savings. I just threw the Easter in there just because I didn't want it to be on its own little thing here. So um, other than the Easter, we were able to save about 18% of our income, which is amazing. We usually do like hardly anything, um, if not anything. So I'm grateful that we were able to save that money and um, do so well. So um, that is it for our April budget. Um, I think we did very well. We stuck to our budget. Um, my husband's been off, so it's been hard to um, not go out and do anything with him just because he's never home because he works so much. But it was nice to just relax and hang out with the family and try to spend as little as possible. So anyways, leave me a comment how your April 2020 budget went. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.